Hi friends, I'm Dr. Swapna Chekuri from Hyderabad Women and Fertility Center. Welcome to my channel. So today let us discuss all about TIFA scan, which is nothing but targeted image for fetal anomaly scan. So basically this scan is usually done around 18 to 22 weeks of pregnancy. But in some individuals where there is a high risk, like you know previous baby having anomalies or uh, in case of consanguinity, we usually go for an early TIFA, which is done around 16 to 18 weeks. Otherwise the routine schedule is around 18 to 22 weeks. Because if we wait till 22 weeks, now at least the baby's cardiac and four chambers they will be like properly formed and any defects can be easily detected at around 20 to 22 weeks so that's the ideal time so basically in TIFA scan every organ is a target they target the brain they target the spinal cord and even the facial profile whether eyes are okay or nose is uh, are there any nasal defects or uh, is there any cleft lip or cleft palate or any defects related to the ear all this can be picked up next coming to the chest area where the most important organ vital organ is the heart so any cardiac anomalies or any ventricular septal defects or atrial septal defects can be detected in TIFA scan next comes about the lungs and next comes about the diaphragmatic hernia some uh, kids they do have some infants they do have uh, diaphragmatic hernia so all this can be picked up in the TIFA scan the next comes the stomach area so that's uh, that's where they see for the stomach bubble is it in the normal location or not any intestinal problems intestinal obstructions and uh, problems related to the kidneys or problem related to the bladder all these things can be picked up on TIFA scan and uh, definitely of course about the limbs uh, about the fingers all this like you know every organ is uh, targeted in this scan so that's why this scan is most important out of all scans and uh, apart from the fetal anomalies we usually check for the amniotic fluid levels around the baby is, the, is it normal or not we usually check about the cervical length if it is short then probably we may have to put a cervical stitch or in case if the cervical length is okay but still the internal loss is open that's when also we advise for a cervical stitch or a patient with previous multiple miscarriages in the second trimester then also we do advise for a cervical stitch after seeing the uh, TIFA scan report and then uh, apart from that we usually check for the Doppler study of uterine artery because that is more important uh, which uh, supplies blood flow to the uterus as well as to the growing fetus as well so that's why we usually check for the blood flow in the uterine artery as well and apart from all these things we see for the placental localization whether is it in the upper segment or is it in the low, lower segment because uh, most of the times in NT scan 95% of the individuals they usually have a low lying placenta in TIFA scan we'll know whether the placenta has migrated or not or is there any risk of placenta previa or placenta accreta in case of previous cesarean all these findings will be picked up on TIFA scan. So friends, uh, uh, today we just discussed about uh, all about the TIFA scan and uh, you know, if you find it's informative, if you like the video, uh, please uh, like my video and share with your friends and needy people. Thank you. And do follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well.